Il 7 ottobre 1979, all'età di 137 anni, è morto l'ex schiavo Charlie Smith. Vediamo la pagina tradotta in automatico su Wikipedia. Fu invitato a vedere il lancio dell'Apollo 17 nel 1972 dall'area VIP del Kennedy Space Center. Ha divertito i giornalisti con i suoi commenti scettici, affermando che non c'è nessuno che va sulla Luna. Io, tu o chiunque altro. E dopo il lancio vedo che vanno da qualche parte, ma che non significa niente. Ricordo che l'Apollo 17 del 1972 è stata l'ultima missione sulla Luna. Ma vediamo lo spezzone della televisione nazionale americana, in diretta, dove lascio l'audio originale e inserisco i sottotitoli di quanto riesco a comprendere. Uh, in the force that it was planned to, and now the spacecraft is well on its way toward orbit. At this moment, it's 108 miles high, 973 miles downrange, and traveling at 16,260 miles an hour. It'll be up to uh, its orbital speed of 17,500 miles an hour very shortly, and about a little over 11 minutes into the flight, it will uh, have achieved orbit. Everything is going perfectly so far, and there's no reason to expect that uh, that orbit will not be achieved. Communications with the spacecraft have been perfect. Here is Bruce Hall. He's with Charles Smith. He's a 130-year-old former slave who came to this country 118 years ago. He's here for the launch of Apollo 17. Bruce Hall, come in. We have here among the VIPs of one very unusual man. He's at least 130 years old. His name is Charles Smith. And do you believe it really happened? You said they would never go to the moon. No, they ain't going there. I'll tell them that. And then they voted on me. But they said, no, ain't nobody going to the moon. No. What are you going to stop up there? What are going to hold that plane up in the air? What are they going to hold it up there? The moon ain't going to hold it. Oh, they've been before. There's a bunch of money. Oh, of course, I don't blame them for getting it. Just like when, when the first man killed the president, the first president ever was killed, Guitar killed Garfield. There's something he had him. I brought him back. He said, bring him dead alive. I got him. They brought back rocks last time when they made a trip to the moon. Do you believe that? No. <laughs> no. Ain't nobody been there. You don't no. believe they've been no. to the moon? No, no. Ain't nobody been to no moon. Well, Walter, that's the view of a 130-year-old man. Now back to you. Well, Bruce, uh, Charlie Smith is not the only fellow who doesn't believe that man has gone to the moon. It's not as ridiculous a thought as you, would, as you might think or any of us might think. It seems a little bit odd now, but uh, I've talked to a lot of people around the world and uh, some rather intelligent ones who uh, somehow or other uh, just cannot accept the fact and, and believe that uh, that uh, man really hasn't done it, that somehow or other it's a big hoax. That uh, that uh, man really hasn't done it, that somehow or other it's a big hoax. I've uh, found them many places. I don't know, maybe you have as well, Wally. And uh, it, it really isn't, uh, it really isn't anything uh, that unusual. Right, right at this moment, uh, we're about to get uh, the word that they're in orbit, and let's, uh, let's find out now as we listen to Mission Control. A disposizione per le vostre ricerche avete sempre l'indice alfabetico del sito web www.tinelli.eu. Usatelo prima di porre le solite domande. Sicuramente con oltre 2700 voci trovate la risposta ai vostri dubbi e magari con un po' di curiosità incappate in argomenti non solo inaspettati, ma illuminanti per la cultura fasulla che ci hanno iniettato fin da piccini attraverso i sistemi di indottrinamento indotto che sono la scuola obbligatoria, la televisione, la radio, i giornali, eccetera. Ad esempio, avete mai indagato su quali sono le società che controllano il 96% dei media di tutto il mondo? 